Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It's um, Sunday morning and it's a rainy day outside and I thought I'd just quickly finish off this video. Um, so the video is just a bit of um, a combination of things of um, a bit of a health um, health update and um, also some um, things I've been doing around the place with my daughter over this weekend since Friday and yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much what it is and also just a bit about body checking where I'm at with that and yeah um, I really appreciate you clicking the video and back again so today is Friday morning and so I haven't filmed a little segment for a few days so I'll just fill you in on what we've been up to so yesterday we got um, a new computer set up for me I have been needing a new computer because of my work and so we've had a computer upgrade and it's all working well. I've also now got a computer webcam and microphone so I'm hoping I can use that for some of these videos and that it might be hopefully better quality. I've done a little bit of painting, I started a new one so I'll chuck a photo in of the beginning stages of that. Um, also took my daughter out yesterday to a couple of shops and got her some craft materials so she's been busy with those ever since and and also her play-doh we've got some more play-doh for her and what else today um on today's friday it's quite cold i am going to be doing a little bit of cooking putting making a batch of things i usually do a little batch of things so that i don't have to cook on other days because i really don't appreciate cooking at all i find it really boring um the last few weeks I've also been practicing a little bit of yoga and um, I've got a friend on Instagram who does tutorials and I've actually mastered a crow pose which is really cool. I can put a clip in of that if you like. I'm quite proud of that because um, a few weeks ago I didn't have any muscle strength and I wasn't able to walk but now my forearms are actually strong enough to hold a crow pose so I've built up a lot of strength which is really good. I've never actually been to a yoga class before. I just watch stuff on YouTube and follow the instructions. So that's how I do it. Um, I pretty much learn everything on YouTube. Today I have a friend coming over for a coffee as well and I am hoping that later on I'll get a chance to do a little bit of painting but we'll see. It's always just hard to get that um, get that in because my four-year-old's home full time. So um, there's always her to to keep occupied so even though I'm a stay-at-home mum you don't actually get a lot of time to do those sorts of things so um, hopefully that will happen but we'll just see how the day goes Give you guys a little health update so basically the last few days i have been feeling mentally okay just uh dealing with the way my body is and it just goes up and down with that and i feel as though when something changes i can feel it change in and and just the way my body feels it can feel bigger or smaller and so i kind of notice when something changes um but I've been feeling okay the last few days mentally with that. I don't know how much further I can take it, but yeah, at the moment I'm just trying to hold on to the feeling of being, of feeling safe and okay where I am. So that's that. Also, uh, physically I'm in perfect health. I've got so much muscle strength now and so much, um, so much uh, energy and stuff. I still have times of the day, some days, where I just become overwhelmed with fatigue and I think that's a carryover from everything my body's been through lately. 
last few months, which is a huge amount of repair work and stuff. It's hard to uh, think about all of that that my body's been put through. It just, um, well, you can never, you can never really say that you're definitely going to be 100% recovered. You can definitely ever say that you will be in partly recovered for any length of time. But I really don't want to put my body through this kind of thing again. I just feel like it wouldn't come back this again, you know, all my functions wouldn't come back uh, if I did got that bad another time. So I'm trying to tell myself there's, there's no going back, there's no option to go backwards again in my life. I mean, I'm 37, I'm not, I'm not young anymore and I don't have really the time to keep doing this if I want to eventually live some kind of healthy life. And I do. I'm just afraid of what that means for my, I guess it sounds pathetic, but my aesthetic and how I will have to live in a different body. And so yeah, I I, I know I can't do this to my body again because it probably wouldn't survive again. I'm just grateful at the moment that I've got all my functions come back. Whereas when I started this recovery, I didn't think it was going to. I thought I would never have normal gut function again. I thought my liver might be kind of fucked up for life. I thought, you know, that maybe I wouldn't get my muscles working again or I would have to have physio the rest of my life or something like that. I just, it was so bad that I don't know, that I didn't know what, uh, I, what would happen to me. So I'm really grateful that I've got all that back and I really don't want to jeopardize myself physically again. There are often mental urges to do that, but at the moment I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, resist, uh, resist that. I hope I can continue to. Hi everyone, it's Saturday morning and I'm just feeling really tired. So I am just having a lie down on my bed for a few minutes. Today I'm supposed to, um, I've been forgetting to do it, but I'm supposed to fill out um, a form about how much body checking I do over the course of the week since, well, over the course of the week since my last session. I haven't done it for a couple of days, so I better get on to that. Basically, I think I do a lot of my body checking without even realising I'm doing it, and so it's kind of an unconscious behaviour that I have, and it's just because I'm so used to doing it, I'm so used to being so in touch with how my body feels and looks and that's even without a mirror because I don't look in the mirror, I hate looking in the mirror. But the idea is if I can reduce those behaviours and record how much I'm, um, I'm doing so that we can see if it can progress to becoming less and less. It's supposed to take the focus and attention off the body and put more focus and attention into whatever else you're doing and being more present in the moment. Um, I can find myself being taken up by um, thoughts of, you know, exercise or, um, or, or checking my body with my hands or just, you know, as I'm doing other things. And um, yeah, so the idea is to kind of reduce that gradually. So I need to fill out a form just to um, keep a track of every time I notice I'm doing it and see if we can reduce it over time so that my mind be can become a bit more focused on life instead. In the video if you got all the way through and really appreciate you guys. And uh, next video I was thinking of doing just um, answering some questions about me um, for, for you guys to get to know me a little bit better but um, I have some other ideas. Um, things like inpatient experiences because I know there's a lot of people out there who are interested in what hospitals like and um, I also know I've, I have also have got a couple of friends who are in hospitals at the moment so it's kind of reminds you a little bit of your own experiences in hospitals and um, I'd probably also like to talk about the difference between how it's been doing this recovery out of hospital as well you know, compared to being in hospital all the other times that I have been um, doing refeeding and stuff like that. So those are some things that I would like to talk about.
and obviously again if you have any other ideas I'd really like to hear them so drop a comment down below and yeah just um, thanks thanks again for watching bye